Time Magazine Newsweek because they're telling them the solution to all the world's crises is a new bank of the world. Well, it's a new bank of the world run by the very same banks. World government is now out of the open. It's exactly what we said it would be. We told people when gold was $265 an ounce to buy it, and we told you when it hit 2000 it might go back down, but overall it would only go back up because they're globally devaluing all major currencies in concert. And it, uh, the G20 calls it this coordinated devaluation. And you just heard the businessman and professor on earlier talking about hyperinflation down the road uh, before we go into the real depression. I and mean, folks think it's bad now. I'm not trying to scare you. This is a fact. The government knows what they've done. Gold and silver is one of the best hedges there is. I don't buy it as an investment, though it's been the best, bar none, across-the-board investment of the last decade. Type into Google, 12-year gold-silver graph. Look at the two go up. Look at it go up over 100 bucks now in the last few weeks, gaining back many of the losses it had. That's because... They have been devaluing the currencies, and the euro goes down, then the dollar goes down, then the euro goes up, and the dollar goes up. But if you look at it, over time, world currencies are, are stepping like, like a staircase downward. Gold and silver and other commodities are on a staircase upwards, only because it costs more of those fiat currencies to buy the real tangible good. And I think probably the biggest sleeper is silver. And so I would only steer people in a direction I think is great. And especially when Ted Anderson has deals on gold and silver. Ted, you're always plugging the two silver dollars. That is the, the, you do lose money on that, and that's the best deal you've got, and it is an insane deal. Free shipping, free book, free video, silver dollars at cost. But you bought a bunch of gold and silver when the price was down a few months ago. Now it's gone back up a lot. Even last week, you said you'd run out of most of it. What do you still have at the super low price that's left when people call? What's the list of special lost leaders you've got? Well, especially if you're looking for silver. I mean, right now, the Lakota Nation silver rounds are at $43. If you look on eBay, you're going to pay a lot more for those. Walking Liberty halves are at 1703 We have those discounted even against our own Internet prices. The survival bags of dimes, I mean, I can't say it enough. People need to have small fractions of gold and silver that they can use as money because the paper currency is going into the toilet. Uh, bags of silver dimes right now, $100 uh, face value of silver dimes or 1,000 dimes is $2,643. And by the way, Alex, that means it now takes 26 dimes to, or 26 of the old, of the new copper dimes to buy one old silver dime. That gives you a reflection of what's going on. And as a matter of fact, the copper dimes are worth more than their face value just because they have copper in them. They have to make pennies out of steel. What is it, what is it going to take to wake the people up so they actually see that the government is driving their currency right into the, right into the floor? I mean, it, it, the people that have been trying to save and, and uh, live out their retirement, you know, they're, they're just, they're, they might as well just kiss it goodbye. You really need to have gold and silver. And like you say, silver probably makes more sense than gold at this time. But if you're a larger investor, gold is, you're going to have to look at that option because it's just too heavy to store well too much silver. I mean, the Silver Eagles right now are at 1955.06. I really like to support Ron Paul. I've got those Campaign for Liberty quarter ounce proof coins and they're at 536.57. Aren't you almost out of those? Uh, I've got just a few left, Alex. I made, uh, I can't remember, I think I made 2,000 of them. I might have 200 of them left. All right, here's the number, 800-686-2237, 1-800-686-2237. Deb, we'll have to have you back on as we watch this unfold, but I tell you, I mean, I'm, I'm getting my storable food in order. I've already had it for years, but I'm getting the lanterns ready, the guns ready. I was out shooting this weekend, something I hadn't done in a year, and I'm hoping for the best, but preparing for the worst. And more and more, you know, under globalism, this leads to a very bad place. I'm telling everybody, get ready for full collapse of everything, of the economy, and, and then hope we're wrong five years from now. Okay, but, 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 but the way all this is going, people need to get storable food. They need to get gold and silver. They need to get firearms. You need to get ready. Ted Anderson, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me up, Alex. Thank you. And a lot of people are so broke, they can't even do that. And more importantly than any of that, spread the word about liberty, because people being awake is one of the only hopes we have to avert all this. That if people are awake to this corruption, it will disappear like phantoms at dawn 
as Thomas Jefferson said. I want to jam in some more calls here. Uh, I never really talk about this sponsor, and, and they've just got such amazing deals going right now. It's eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex. The holiday season, eFoods Direct is offering some unbelievable deals. If you've ever thought about getting a supply of affordable foods, now is the time. Don't wait until next time because this may be the best deal they've ever offered. This season, get yourself uh, the gift of food security and peace of mind in these uh, unstable times with the best storable foods out there from eFoodsDirect.com. they got a bunch of specials running right now. eFoodsDirect.com forward slash Alex or click on the banners at InfoWars.com or give them a call 800-876-0871. That's the number to call to ask about different specials they've got running. 800-876-0871. 800-876-0871. Get prepared today. All right, continuing here, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of overdrive into the next hour. The official show will be over, and then I guess XM takes the show an hour late, so it's like live for a couple hours, then it's the first hour again. But regardless, we're coming back with your phone calls uh, here in just a moment. But some stations obviously will break away to uh, the next show. Yeah, yeah, we're going to phone calls. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to do a, a rant because uh, I need to have a mistake at the first five minutes. I want to fix that. Holy mackerel, we'll see what we're going to have to do here. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Matt in North Carolina. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, how's it going, Alex? Good. Um, yeah, just uh, a couple things. Uh, first of all, I've been I've been trying to call for a while and uh, haven't been able to get through. Um, but uh, on the Libya thing, I noticed uh, when you um, uh, did your uh, your money bomb special, uh, you had uh, Mr. Dansk on, and uh, while you guys were talking, he made an interesting point, which, uh, which is that the uh, the truth is never simple. And uh, I think with the Libya thing, what I failed to see anybody notice, I mean, I don't know if you remember when the, uh, when the rebels took Tripoli and uh, they'd rename the square or whatever downtown. And you see you know, this beautiful shot of the square. You see all these people, and they're all waving the, uh, the new Libyan flag because the old one was just solid green. And uh, there's this new uh, nice-looking flag that they're waving. They're all waving it. Um, that's all you can see. And then you see these people trailing through the streets with a, like a big 50-foot version of the Libyan flag. And you've got all these reporters on the ground, and nobody asks the question, where the hell did they get the flags? I mean, is there some kind of, did, did the rebels set up a flag factory? Uh, uh, no, it's all, them from China? it's all, uh, it's all a big psyop. I, I saw that, exactly. absolutely. Yeah. No, that's yeah. like the illegals, uh, when they have those demonstrations for total open borders, they admitted that big foundations in the U.S. handed out the flags. Yeah, I mean, obviously somebody's passing out these flags to these guys when they come in, which begs the question of where were the, how were the flags shipped in? What funds were used to pay for those flags? What factory got the contract? To Sir, the they flags? now admit they fly the Al-Qaeda flag over the country. They gave it to Al-Qaeda. Give your rights up because of Al-Qaeda. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi, folks. This is Alex Jones. I'm looking for people that have the wisdom to spot savings, opportunity, and recognize risk. Saving means to make money. The Calbin Pure Soap Company can save you thousands of dollars and give you good old-fashioned real soaps that are triple concentrated and twice as good as what you're using now. Soaps made from vegetable and coconut oils that contain no useless dyes, perfumes, deodorants, or antibacterials. Your risk is the hundreds of hazardous toxic detergents that give you rashes, itching sores, and deteriorating clothing called lint. If you want something better, if you want something you've never had before, you have to do something you've never done before. Getting a free catalog is easy by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Take charge of your health now by calling 800-340-7091 or see Calvin on the web at 5starsoap.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We've got it. This transmission is coming to you. Waging war on corruption. All right, you are go. It's Alex Jones coming to you live from the front lines of the info war. We got a key transmission coming up for you. 
here today. It is, of course, Monday, November 7th, 2011. And so much is happening that just makes my mind spin because we knew it was coming and then you watch it happen. Italy, too big to fail, too big to save. And it just goes through the fact here at CNBC that if you think $100 billion was bad with Greece... We're talking about close to a trillion bucks in Italy, most of it derivatives the public signed on to, and now they want Americans to pay for part of it. Your taxes will go up. You'll be lectured by a bunch of college people that can't get jobs, that you need to pay them more money. And the general public, again, just doesn't have the basic facts down on what we're dealing with here as a society. Uh, they're now talking about uh, Berlusconi um, stepping down. It's caused all sorts of problems so far in the market today. We'll continue to track that. Italian government borrowing rates hit euro error high. Now these countries have been uh, basically maneuvered into bankruptcy. Now they pay more for the future debts. But it's set up under fractional reserve banking where you always pay more. It Debt is created just for money to be created. And then in the final equation, they've convinced you to go into more and more debt. And guess what? The debt's going to cost more. And it's going to take even more money to pay off that. And the taxes go up and up. The society falls apart. Meanwhile, the average American is being distracted today with a sexual harassment story. All these women wouldn't go public about Herman Cain. Well, now Gloria Allred has obviously gotten some woman hyped up enough to do it. And I, I mean, I, I don't know the truth, but I mean, at the end of the day, there's people being killed all over the planet. Our cancer rates are doubling and tripling, and we're having bioweapons put in our food and water. And uh, the globalists are admittingly you know, doing this to us, and we're busy worrying about Herman Cain and uh, all the you know, reported escapades that uh, he might have been involved in. It's incredible. Cain accuser from Chicago. She speaks, all red, sought his help with an employment issue, instead offered his idea of a stimulus package. <laughs> and then meanwhile, we've got jury reaches verdict in Jacko trial. And again, I understand folks hear about these stories, they follow them, and then it comes out. But uh, now we see, now we see the accuser. A reported uh, looker from Chicago. I was very, very surprised and shocked, she said, in recounting the detail of the aggressive sexual overtures 14 years ago. Mr. Kane, I implore you, make this right. Politico first reported last week that the National Restaurant Association settled sexual harassment claims brought by Kane by two women in the 90s. A third woman told the Associated Press last week she had considered filing a similar complaint. Tonight on the nightly news, I'm going to get into the fact that Bill Clinton settled lawsuits for raping women. And, it, and, and the feminists were defending it. Look, all of this is just, just society crumbling. So it, it's a big political distraction, and it'll actually make him look like a hero to a lot of conservatives that are sick of this stuff. When we should be looking at Ron Paul, who you notice has none of these problems. Because he's not involved in this kind of stuff. All right. I also just want to thank all the folks that gave at the Money Bomb. You can still donate if you'd like, InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com until tomorrow. Sometime in the afternoon, we're going to keep streaming the 27 hours straight. If you missed any of the incredible interviews, and they're also posted up there in sections and parts uh, at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. But we couldn't have done all this without you. And I want to thank all of you that did give. Uh, if you are people of means, that's who should be giving to the number one alternative media outlet confronting the globalists, defending the republic. I don't want little old ladies and people on fixed budgets to give me a red cent. You're, you're listening and spreading the word is so much. I love you. I appreciate you. But if you do have means, you really should give at InfoWarsMoneyBomb.com. I mean, who else is working this hard? Great job of the crew, uh, by the way. Uh, and, of course, coming up after the show today, uh, we'll see you uh, tonight, 7 o'clock Central, InfoWarsNews.com.